Arabic lesson today we're going to discuss about SEQ document using authority. So for the introduction, so the increasing complexity of construction projects, there is an upward demand for more effective cost control and faster project implementation consistent with high quality work. Construction management services were the instituted to fill these different construction needs. So in the construction industry class, what we look for is effective cost control faster implementation, then also high quality of work. So if you're going to reach our building tech five, uh, I'm going to be instructor someday for building tech five, we're going to talk about a lot of modern methods of construction, which is far more efficient than the, uh, call this the uh, traditional methods. The construction manager could either be a member of the staff, the owner, independent individual or a firm hired to the owner to manage the construction of a particular project. So the architect can serve as the construction manager whose training in the coordination of various specialties allows him to supervise and assure proper monitoring of all construction activities with regards to quality, workmanship, and cost. So these are the functions. The responsibilities of the construction manager include the functions of the construction supervision group or CSG, which is document 2048, which is coordination and supervision, cost and time control, quality control of work and quality of materials. The construction manager may hire the uh, construction supervision group to, act, to be under his employee or may supervise the CSG hired directly by the owner. So the, the CM class you can hire um, his own CSG or supervise the CSG which is hired by the owner. So it just really depend on uh, the agreement. So for the limitation of the authority, the architect as the construction manager shall not one involve himself directly with the work of the contractor, such that we may construe that is assuming the contractor's liability as provided for Article 17 of the Code of Civil Code. And then who in Post methods, systems, or designs that will substantially affect the construction schedule and impair the design concept. Okay, so even if you're already the construction manager class, if you're not uh, the designer of the project, you shouldn't impose your system, uh, especially if it affects the schedule. So for the legal responsibility, architect as a construction manager is directly responsible to the owner on all aspects of the construction work, programming, coordination, quality, and cost control and time management. The CRM assumes no liability in the case of equipment fail to function or if a portion of the building collapses due to the deficiencies in the plan, design, provided the CM did not participate in the plan, design, review, and approval. Two. Due to the deficiencies in the manner of construction, provided the CM faithfully discharges his functions during the construction and project implementation. So for the qualification, the construction manager be an individual or a firm. So the individual, the principal of the firm must be a state regulated professional, preferably an architect with managerial capabilities and extensive experience in construction. Architect must be a registered licensed architect with an updated professional identification card and be a member in good standing of the integrated accredited professional organization of architects, IAPOA, which is currently the United Architects of the Philippines. Then, two architects or contractors or who have been in responsible charge of construction works are usually capable of becoming construction managers. The methods of compensation. Since construction management is not part of the regular service of the architect, the services rendered by the architect as a construction manager should be separate from compensation. Okay, so let's just keep our lecture uh, short class. We'll just tackle uh, 204B for this week. I'll be posting our activity at our uh, Facebook group. So this is a short lecture or discussion about the SPP document 204B or the, uh, the standards of professional practice on construction management services. So someday class, um, if you uh, when you practice already and you become architects, you can choose a, a, diver, a wide variety or plethora of fields to choose from.
can enter into construction management, they can do regular design services, they can even do the design build. So it would really be de dependent on what niche you want to establish in the industry. Okay, so at, I advise your classes after uh, your graduate after your graduation is that you take apprenticeship which has a balance on construction supervision and uh, planning in the office. Because for one, it's not good that your only experience is in the office because uh, you will not have the practical knowledge to know if what you are designing is constructible in reality. Okay, so architecture is not only about art, it's also science. It's really, it's really important for you to be technical, especially in the construction details. Okay, so see you next week, class. If you have any questions or further uh, inquiries in the matter, okay, like what I said earlier, contact me on my Facebook or send an email. So I will always respond as long as I'm online. Okay, so stay safe and see you next time.